Are you smarter than a fifth grader? I'm Claudia, one of your two hosts for the show. Let me show you how the game works. I don't know who you is. We're going to ask you 11 questions in increasing difficulty, but you'll get to pick the subject every time. You'll have a classmate to help you out and three cheats you can use during the game. You can either copy your classmate's no answer, see how the whole class would answer the question, or just discard this question and get a new question entirely. No cheating allowed on that new question, though. You'll get points for each right answer, but just one wrong answer and you're out. Sixth grade question, you'll be on your own. No cheats, no <clears throat> classmates. Let's see myself. if you can prove that you really are smarter than a fifth grader. Let's go. Welcome to first grade. It's I'm nice to first see grade. you today. Every question here is worth 100 points. 100 points. Yeah. Woo! Your classmate for this grade will be... Eli. Ooh. Yeah. Yay! They are... Life science. Reading. Math. Spelling. You're the gold standard okay, wait, wait. for this money question. True or false? True if false. Josh has two quarters, 50 cent. four dimes, and Nine four nickels, then he has just enough money to buy a bag of chips for okay. one dollar and ten cents. Fifty cent, ninety cent, twenty cents. Yes. True. Oldest sibling, pick the correct one, and it is locked in. Yay! The actual answer is true. Bingo! Yes, you get 100 points. 100 points. $100,000 in a rubber band. Oldest sibling, pick yourself a nice subject. It is measurements, social studies, mm -hmm. vocabulary. Do your English teacher proud in I this bet. next question. Let's do it. How many of the counting numbers, 1 through 10, including 1 and 10, have more than one side? Right, 1, 2, no, 3, no, one, 4, no, 5, 6, two, 7, 3, 1. Oldest sibling, pick out your answer. We got your answer. And the real Let's answer do it. is... One. Bingo! Correct. You get 100 points. Yo! 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 But that's up? enough from me. Take it away, Teddy. What are niggas talking about? I'm a real boy genius. Take it away, hey, Teddy. I'm Teddy, your other host for the What's show. What's going on, Teddy? It's time for us to go to the second grade. Second grade! This time, each question is worth 150 points. 150. It's time to say bye to our old classmate and hi to the new we'll one. We'll holler at you, little Eli. Goodbye. Get your mother on your pet. Woo! Ah! Yeah! Let's say hi to your new classmate. Who we going with? Give me the black girl, Ava. Give me little Ava. Joaquin. Come on, wow. Joaquin. Yeah. Ah! Woohoo! You can call me Joaquin. Why he and my favorite <laughs> subjects are math and geometry. <clears throat> Oldest sibling, pick the subjects you're good at. Now it's social studies, measurements, like we'll head to the beach for this here. holidays question. Of the people I'm... who have U.S. federal holidays named after them, who was the only one born Martin in Atlanta? King. George Washington. Martin Luther King Jr. Bingo! John Lewis. Oldest sibling. Come on. What's the answer? <laughs> and the answer is in. Talk to me. The correct answer is... Martin Luther King Jr. Yay. Great work. You get 150 points. Okay. This is too easy, bro. Come on, man. I knew so, my dog. From way you? back. I Thanks practically for coming grew today. up with the nigga. Why don't you give us a nice fact about yourself? I, I, I basically grew I up with I prefer to watch videos to research personally. rather than reading books. Man, the day he got there, God, they had to check out the next one. I took my Sam niggas home me back.
oldest sibling. It's time to pick yourself a yeah. subject. 47 plus 46 equals... Oldest sibling. What's the right answer? Wait, what? Alright, 8... 93. I mean, 90, 90... Wait, 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 wait. 91. Yeah, 91. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. We got the answer. Yeah. The right answer is 93. Sorry, but you chose the wrong answer. Hey, yo, Unfortunately, yo, you were yo, not yo, smarter yo, than a fifth grader. Yo, but yo. we'd love to see you again in our class. Wait, Let's wait, take a wait, look wait! At wait. Scores. We hope you've learned a lot and had some fun. We'll put those points into your permanent record. Bro, I did it fast, bro. Seven plus six is 13, bro. Cause seven plus five is 12. Bro, I was rushing, bro. I was rushing. We hope you had ah, fun. Woo. Thanks again for joining bro, us on Are You Smarter bro, Than a I Fifth Grader? I said seven, eight, nine, ten. All them kids, bro. Joe Keen, that nigga ain't help. I hope you're ready for the pop quiz. That nigga ain't help. Really I wanted to I wanted to fucking do look. It's the time girl. for first I was grade. rushing. It's so nice to have you here. Every question here is worth 100 points. All right, bitch, hold on. Yay. Let me let me speed through this, Your bro. Your classmate for now will be Yes. Ooh. Yeah. The name is Joaquin. Man. Joaquin! Oldest sibling, please pick one of these subjects. Reading, spelling, huh. life. Let's turn the page to the next literature question. Bro, see, it's this nigga, bro. Per her book title, what sweet treat does author Laura Numeroff mention giving to a hungry mouse at your doorstep? Cookie, cream puff, chocolate mousse. Wait, what? Oldest sibling. What's your answer? Wait, what? Wait, what? I just see it. Here's right, the girl. answer. I just see it. Yeah. And the answer is... Cookie. Whoa, well what the f You get 100 points. I, okay, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry for yelling. Did so, I, okay, I'm sorry Joaquin, for yelling. thank you for attending. Can you tell us a... I don't want to hear nothing about Joaquin. Oldest about. sibling. Let's see if there's a good subject. We've got uh -huh. spelling. We'll do it by the book for the literature question. Oh, man, word. Joaquin Petty. Mowgli is the main character in what Rudyard Kipling book? I... Curious George. The Jungle Book. Oh, Mowgli. Where the sidewalk ends. It's two. It's two. Oldest sibling, choose your answer. <laughs> they calling me oldest sibling. It's now locked in. <laughs> Woohoo! And the actual they answer me oldest is sibling. the Jungle Book. It's you got points. this. You get 100 points. But get Joaquin off the screen. All, all. But you've had enough of me. Hi, I'm Claudia, your other host for the show. There's Claudia? gonna be a new classmate. Yeah. Yo, get your king to f on. Good there day. she go. Heisel Ava. I love to practice my foreign languages and social studies. Oldest sibling, go ahead and pick a subject. There are. Get to a native speaker level with this vocabulary question. Vocabulary. You Which know of I, the following I, words means in, in addition. addition? Okay. Talk to me. Two. T-O. Two. T-W-O. Two. T-O-O. Oldest sibling. Oh, okay. Choose the right answer. I heard Kanye was streaming too. We've got it now. 
And the correct answer is... Two. T-O-O. -O. Good yeah. job. Hey, y'all see how I use that in a sentence, though? Y'all pee that? Comment it. Oldest see. sibling. Let's look at your choice of subjects. Hey, you have I'm always choose now. Count in this counting I'm question. always choose now. What is the square root of 144? 12. Come on, man. There ain't no second grade math. Oldest sibling, please. There ain't no answer. second grade math. But it is not no second grade math. And we got your answer. Woo! That means the answer is 12. <laughs> That Yay. means that's you like, get like, 150 like points. Big four field, bro. My kids better not come home with help me with their points. homework. Amazing. <laughs> but it's time we swap hosts. Real talk. Hey there. You're doing it's great. Easy. It's time for third grade. We'll say bye to your old class. Yeah, I, Whoa. I, 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 sorry, thank you. Ah, hot. Ozzy. Oldest sibling, choose the right subject for you. And it's life science, spelling, measurements, socials. You won't <laughs> get lost with this landmarks question. Oh, if Ava is at the J. Edgar Hoover building in Washington, DC, she is visiting the headquarters of what organization? NPR, CIA, FBI. If, a a if Ava is at the J. Edgar Hoover building, she is visiting what? I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna cast out number one CIA. If, if Ava is at the J. Edgar Hoover building in Washington, DC. Your answer is in. Yay! And that makes the answer F. Yeah. Nice work. You get 200 points. So I'm telling you why I do the things that I so, don't want to do. Thanks for joining us. Can we you give us a fun fact about your favorite me. subject? Somebody else. English has words for very specific things. Bruh, why would kids? Bruh, ain't no kids knowing this. There ain't no second grade. Bro. Oldest sibling. Here's your choice of subjects. There is get ready to S-P-E-L-L -L with this next question. What letter immediately follows the H in the following word? Hygiene. Hygiene. E. Oh, why? What? I. Why, nigga? Why? Yeah. Oldest sibling, which is the answer? Bro, stop calling me there, bro. Your me. answer is locked. Yeah! <laughs> well, the right answer is... Y. You're right. You get 200 points. But that's enough from me. Take it away. What grade am I in right now? Tell what grade am I in? Exciting. We're already halfway in the fourth grade. Every qu Let's greet the new classmate and say goodbye to the old one. Yeah! Ah, I'm Halima, and Halima. I can help with help and life science questions. <laughs> Oldest sibling, please pick yourself a good subject. Go ahead, pick, spell let it. me spell it out for you with this spelling question. <laughs> True or false? The letter Y appears in the following word, hyperbole. Hyperbole. Oldest sibling, choose an answer. Your answer is locked. Yay! And the right answer is... True. Too yeah. easy. Got to know how to spell Got to know how to spell this. Hyper. Hyper. H-Y-P-E. So, Halima, thanks for helping us today. I bet. Oldest no. sibling, let's take a look at the subjects. We I'm a, have I mean, I'm a choose every time. For the next question. 
How many the degrees rest, I don't know. are all the interior angles of a square combined? Wait! 90. Hold on. How many degrees are... Oldest sibling. 90 Give times 4. Answer. 9 times 4 is... 280. Wait, 9 times 4 is 36? 36, 36, 36, 36. 9 times 4 is... I said 28. Why, what the going on? 9 times 4 is 36. 9, 18, 18. We're not keeping time, so take it easy. 9 times... Okay, babe. Nine times. Okay, babe. Okay! Here's the answer. The real answer is actually 360 degrees. I'm not cheating. I swear to God, I'm not cheating. Seven times four is me. Yeah, you right. Good Good just chill. You get 250 points. Take it easy. Bro, look, nigga. Come on now. I'm got. You can put it on emo only Let's if you want, nigga. Let's give the scoreboard another look. Put it on emo only. Oh, good nigga. job. But that's enough from me. It's your turn. <clears throat> hey, look fifth grade, point. nigga. Y'all niggas just mad I'm in fifth good. grade. Let's greet our new classmate and say goodbye. Y'all white, but y'all niggas actually mad that I'm in fifth grade? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Oldest sibling, choose a good subject for you. Is it life science? Revisit your wow, lesson. Wow, y'all niggas actually mad that I'm in fifth grade. Come on now. True or false? If someone is ardent about a cause, they are very nonchalant. Bro, that's not a fifth grade word, bro. Oldest sibling, choose us an answer. Ardent. You're, I'm very ardent. I don't know what the f ardent mean. Okay. Bro, you got the ardent is right now, nigga. You're not my, hey, now my say I'm acting ardent. Then I'm my, hey, none of my say I'm ardent. Hell nah. Hell nah. We'll say the question again. Say it again. True or false? If someone is ardent about a cause, they are very nonchalant. We got the That's answer. That's not what ardent means, bro. Yes. Well, the correct answer is false. Yes! If you're correct. You get 300 points. So, Haley, thank you for being here with us. Why don't you tell us a fact about yourself? Hey, no, man, hey, Haley, no, no, no offense, ma'am. I don't care. <laughs> Oldest sibling. Let's pick one for the next question. You've got life science, measurements, reading, social studies. I ain't did life sciences yet. Don't fangirl too much on our next question. Known as the father of genetics, what Austrian botanist famously conducted experiments with pea plants? Come on, man. Gregor Mendel, Carl Linnaeus, George Washington Carver. Oldest sibling, pick the right answer. It's not George Washington Carver because the nigga wasn't Australian. Carl Leonidas, I'm gonna go with Gregor Mendel, cause nigga, that sound like some Australian ass. Fuck it. I'm smart. I know I'm smart as bro. Yes. I'm, bro. Well, the answer is Gregor. Yes! Good job. You get 100 points. What you really talking about, nigga? Nigga, 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 elimination, but nigga. this is a two-host talking about? Take it away, Claudia. Let's go. I and didn't even know the answer. Grade. I hope you get this one right. I'm smart in the fifth grade, one nigga. question, but it's worth five Process of elimination, points. nigga. We'll say bye to your classmate now, because... 
I'm smarter than the fifth grader. Hey, look. One thing for sure, two things for certain, nigga. I know you can is me. I'm a smarter than fifth grader. It's between measurements, reading, life science, social studies. Going to have to hop on a plane for this next question. Nah, nah. Turn it out. It's the final question. Wait, 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 wait. Let's keep see keep, if you keep. really are smarter than a fifth grader. What is the most populous country in the world that does not use the metric system? United States. Indonesia. China. I'm going with China. I'm going with China. Oldest sibling. What's the real answer? We, do we do we do do we use the metric system though? What is the most populous country in the world? Excuse me, ma'am. Can you repeat the question, please? What is the most populous country in the world that does not use the metric system? United States, Indonesia. China. Bro, we don't use the metric system. We use we use the other one, nigga. But then again, China is got the most populous now. But they then again they might use the metric system. Indonesia. In this situation right here, cause nigga, I ain't never really even paid attention to y'all. But then again, there might be the right answer, Indonesia. Can you repeat the question one more time? What is the most populous country in the world that does not use the metric system? United States, Indonesia, China. I can't use Google, right? I can't use Google. Bro, I don't, I don't count. China always trying to be different. Indonesia, <clears throat> I don't even think we use the metric system. Cause nigga, I ain't never heard of no metric, nothing. I never heard of nothing metric when it comes over here. We got your answer. So the real answer is... United States. Well done. You get 500 points. Let's take a last look at the final scores. Congratulations, you've done so well. Time to put those points into your record. We have a new classmate. Yeah. Ah, here's new stuff for your avatar. Let's take a look at what you just got. What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? What'd I get? I don't give a fuck about none of this. I'm smarter than fifth grade. And it's time for the end of the show. School out! Listen, come on now. And look, honestly, I don't think I would have made it past seventh grade. <laughs> I don't think I would have made it past seventh grade. All right? I struggled with that. I can't count. I won't lie. I struggled with that. But you know what? You live. You live to fight another day. <laughs>